Some stories in life never see the light of day simply because they're too hard to explain. Some are forgotten, while others are just too traumatic to be relived. Some are never known, because the people that know them cease to exist. March 1st, 2020. We uploaded a video to YouTube where we unknowingly stepped onto a federal black site. In there, we found files that were both declassified and classified, mentioning strange events that happened in the surrounding area. I came back to photocopy the files, but by then, it was too late. The entire building was surrounded. An entry was impossible. Uh, some weird things have been happening and uh, we, we left for a little bit. But um, I'm back and I come back to this place, right? There's two cars blocking the entire road. Like it's a public road and there's cars blocking it. There were two bald guys in this one car and the other car just had nothing in it. Both were unmarked. Uh, they said they were like, like special police or something. I'm not even kidding about this, so it's, it's really weird uh, that they would say that. But. Now, federal presence in the area is nothing new. In the 1970s, two office complexes sprung up in what was the middle of nowhere. These two office complexes had heavy ties to the CIA and FBI, but our proof of that has since been mostly wiped off the internet. One small PDF managed to be saved, confirming that there was, in fact, a deal with the CIA. What exactly happened here, all those years ago? On a small stretch of road in Kildare, Illinois, many homesteads and businesses once stood. But soon after, all that changed. With the Kemper Lakes office complex up, and soon the CF Industries building, things started to change in the area, quickly. We filmed a video exploring this building a few years ago, and gave very little context to it. It could still be found on YouTube despite the thumbnail, although I have been fighting with YouTube to keep it up. This building officially was under the name CF Industries. It was a fertilizer company headquarters, or so they say. Records show was abandoned around 2009, although cars were there enough days to be shown on satellite images years later. This place became somewhat of a local legend after local kids reported seeing things in the woods, or the building itself. People began to be chased out by unmarked cars after my video was uploaded. This particular video was one of two videos that I could find of people being chased. The car continued to chase these kids for 15 minutes, far beyond the property lines, and even ran three red lights just to follow them. 
Before this happened, the kids witnessed heavy activity beyond the gates. Strangely enough, it was really late into the night, and I'm not sure why construction work would be going on. Many people would theorize that a drug operation was going on, as many kids who were chased reported armed men, often described as Hispanic, following and threatening anyone near the property. I, and many others, believe it was some kind of front to an abandoned government project. After events like this happened, I stopped everything. I quit the documentary, I quit filming. I didn't even go on that road very much due to fear of being spotted or being pulled over. It's been over three plus years since these gates closed and were supposedly under construction, but nothing's changed. People moved on, I stopped investigating. People largely forgot about everything, which is why now is maybe a better time to release this information and connect the dots. Air Force? Dude, what? Wait, is there any more? Many of the files I found in this building were largely available online, which is why people thought it was a prank of sorts. However, I did view a few files in the building that were not available anywhere online. 1986, Sessions Director. This site is now 90% renovated. One of them I even managed to film, about this which says this. Called. In short, it describes door-to-door -door interviews to all the houses along the road. It specifically mentions the first blue house that we explored on the road. It mentions livestock disappearing along the road. It mentions a quoted orange sky incident. Not sure what that means though. That could be taken literally as the sky actually appearing orange, but doesn't that happen normally during the evening? It must have been something more. It mentions a man named Gary who is actively being searched for who mysteriously disappeared. There are no details on his disappearance and there is nothing found online about this guy. Files also mention that a body could be found. It mentions a core room in all capitals, but nothing else of it. It mentions the Environmental Protection Agency, and finally the glowing eyes. It could be mentioned that yes, these documents were put here by a prankster of some sorts, but the last part where it mentions the glowing eyes is just too specific for me to ignore. Back when I got my first phone, I biked around looking for places to take pictures. I stumbled upon the site as the gate was just open, and I decided to start filming. Inside one of the stairwells of the parking garage, I unknowingly caught this on video. Later, after finding an open door, a white van pulled up on me. The guy in the van told me that there was cameras across the whole facility, yet I didn't see any. He started asking me all sorts of questions. How did I find out about this place? How did I get in? How did I do this? Seeing that I was just a dumb kid, he let me go, despite mentioning everybody he had met here was arrested. The whole interaction being odd is self-explanatory, but as for the glowing eyes, when I came back to that stairwell, years later, I didn't see any indication of a light source. It all started in 2017. Found a bunch of properties in the woods. We decided to check out this one house in particular. Turns out, everything inside was left as it was in the 1980s. A true time capsule. Look at this. These bikes are ancient. Oh, dude. All this stuff is vintage as hell. These beds. Look at the TV, bro. Dude, oh my god. Dude, this is like exploring with Josh's type stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's just crazy. That's an old battleship. I think that's G.I. Joe. Maybe. Towards the end of the day, things started to feel very off. Yeah. 
No way. No freaking way. Is it gone? That's crazy. My friends started panicking, telling me we had to go this home. Forest. Look at that. That looks pretty bad. Look at that. Oh my god. I didn't know what he saw that evening. Until a year later, he finally came clean. If I recall, it was around 2017. From the very moment that I walked in, it felt very off-putting. And I've been to lots of abandoned places prior to this. I just got a feeling from this place that I got from no other. Everything was overturned. Everything was left just how it was. But it looked completely ransacked. From the kitchen, to the basement, to the garage. Everything was out of order, out of place. And as we were making our way up to the middle floor, I saw something out of the corner of my eye. Now, Kaiser was um, already upstairs. And I look out the back door. At this point, the sun had already set. It was pretty much past the, uh, the tree line. And I see two red eyes glowing. It's, a, it's probably just a trick of the eye, so I look away, I look back, and they're still there, just how it was. And at this point, I'm really kind of starting to freak out in my head, so I tell Kaiser that we have to leave. I look back one final time, and I see them blink, and then they just disappeared. So you wouldn't believe it, but the light's actually on inside after 20 years. It was too late. I never did any digging. It was all gone. So cool. Yeah, that's the place. Books. Remember that? Oh yeah. These photos were the only ones we were able to save from the blue house before it was completely liquidated. It shows what appears to be a fire at the Hooks nursery building across the street, which was also abandoned around the same time as the blue house. Here's a video we filmed in 2017 of the inside. Yeah. Okay. What's that sound? I wonder if that's just the rain. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's old. It's a furnace, it uses wood. There would have been a second building here, but it's demolished. The building survived the fire, albeit going abandoned, but a few years ago it was knocked down for new houses. What caused this fire? I believe it had something to do with the facility. Most of the unique documents that I found were similar to the one that I showed. Oddly enough, one that I looked through mentioned a cleanup at the site. A few months after finding those files, most of the abandoned properties along the road were bought out by the state and cleared out, just like the Blue House. Most of the buildings were set to be knocked down pretty soon. Sensing that there might be some form of evidence left behind, I knew I had to act. Not too many things here. We got all computers. That's sick. Yo, I say take a weapon. Supposed to be. You hear that? Who's in here? It's awesome. Look at that. Dude, that's sick. Those are nice bathrooms.
Well, some of the people who lived along this road are untraceable. I did manage to find out that some of the houses housed famous architects and celebrities. None of the surviving residents wanted to come forth and talk about the files. No one here right now. Hello? Dude, look. look. It's like they just got up and left. Dude, are you serious? Look at all of this. Is that money? Oh, wow. One. Oh my gosh, I just got a hundred dollars. They left. I wonder if they left their food. Oh my gosh. As you can see, they're gonna tear this house down. Unfortunately, the footage for this house was lost. So yeah, there's barns and houses over there, all gone. You can see the excavators. At one point, the community on this road was so big, they even had their own schoolhouse. The building still existed and housed all the kids on this road at one point. Large down. I'm getting out of here, dude. This is like, this is like where they would torture the kids. Yeah, so I mean, that's, that's it, man, we're out. Was this mass demolition effort a way to get rid of any evidence? It was obvious that we were too late to get to most of these houses, so I guess we'll never know. Oh yeah, I forgot to show this house. Alright, I've been looking at this house for a while. What year is this? 1934. You can see that, right? What else? Yo, look at this. It's awesome. Colors. That's awesome. The people who lived here were Freemasons, and by the looks of it, they had connections. He's like some famous guy or something. So what do we know so far? Two expensive offices were built in a rural area, in which evidence points to secret government involvement. We can see on old aerial photos that many of the houses here went abandoned or were demolished after one facility in the woods behind them was built. We found a preserved house that confirms this, showing as if most people here just got up one day and left. After we discovered the house, this and presumably all the rest were largely cleared out and set for demolition. After our findings in the facility went public, the facility went full lockdown, and people were chased out by armed guards. Many of the documents we found describe this area, although I only managed to record one of them. It talks of very unusual happenings, which could explain the large abandonment of this area. The fact that many have seen unusual things along this road described in the document also supports this. We theorized tests were being done to contact other dimensions as whatever we and others saw seemed to be not of this world. Why did it take three years to upload this? There's much more to the story. Certain things can happen that can really scare somebody. There are people and concepts and things that you so much as vaguely hear about that are capable of things so vast you couldn't even begin to understand. People know things, they just won't talk about it. Quiet places often have the most going on.
The village promised this place to be a new set of offices by now. But as of June 2022, not a single thing has changed. This was supposed to be an hour long, but I cut it short. There are things I'll upload in the future, assuming this gets traction. This is honestly the furthest I'm gonna go, but this is uh, still completely the same. It's all boarded up. The only thing different, there's lights on and in the parking garage. But uh, they should have built this by now, right? Nope, nothing's changed. This is odd. I'm not venturing anywhere near here, to be honest. Protected by a security system. The authorities have been notified. Leave immediately. Been notified. Leave immediately. With most of the evidence redeveloped and gone, it's clear we'll never know the full story. Whatever inhabits these woods, however, has no intention of going away. This isn't the last we'll hear of this.